Excuse me? Why am I wearing this outfit? And could you tell me what I'm supposed to be doing here dressed like this? You're gonna be the ring girl. But right now, the only thing I've got on is a school swimsuit. I look like a pervert dressed like this. <laughs> uh, boss? This chick is serious trouble. She looks like a scared little animal. Here in the Blood Lad is pretty good. It seamlessly blends supernatural elements with pop culture references, particularly to anime, manga, and gaming. The engaging story and unique blend of themes led to an anime adaptation that first graced television screens in 2013. The following offers an extended overview of the series set predominantly in the demon world. Blood Lad presents a realm partitioned into territories, each ruled by powerful demon bosses, contrary to the conventional eerie landscapes often associated with such settings. The demon world in Blood Lad is vibrant, varied, and not too dissimilar from human realms, albeit with supernatural inhabitants. The protagonist, Staz, is a formidable vampire and the boss of the demon world's eastern district, but he's an anomaly among his kin. Instead of showcasing a classic bloodthirst, Staz is obsessed with human culture, particularly Japanese otaku subculture. He's more of a laid-back anime, manga, and video game enthusiast than a fearsome creature of the night. It's also about a typical human girl who finds herself inadvertently thrust into the demon realm. Her unexpected presence captures Staz's interest, not because she's potential prey, but because she embodies the human world he so adores.